having been told that I uh, was cleared to fly and got back and got into the flying again, I applied and I said, look, you know, I've been grounded for eight years. Um, I was still married to my first wife at that stage. And uh, um, I won't say we were poor, because we weren't. I mean, any you know, flight attendant in the Air Force is doing all right. But um, it was, a, I, think, I think the flying pay at that stage was probably close to $3,000 a year or so. So, you know, it was, somewhere between eighteen and $24,000 that I had missed. So I said, <clears throat> because I would have been flying, I would have been there if I could have, and you guys didn't, can I have my flying pay? So I applied for an act of grace for my flying pay. And uh, I submitted it. I, the CA wrote a wonderful set of words that said, fantastic, we should do it. Um, it went up to uh, Air Force office and they absolutely supported it. Went into the Department of Defence, absolutely supported. We, you know, give the man the money. Yeah, he really deserves it. He's, and it then went across to Department of Finance and the Minister for Finance said, we can't afford that sort of money. Now that, you know, was A, a lie and B, I don't think it was really the Minister himself anyway. But the, the fact that some bureaucrat <laughs> just can say no uh, when, when everybody who matters supports it. I found it intensely irritating. But I, I, I tried to avoid, and I think I have to a huge degree, avoided being bitter about the circumstances because each person in the step did what they thought was right. You know, as, as they went yeah. through it, up to that case. Uh, and um, I honestly think I became a better officer and probably a better pilot for having been an administrative officer for eight years because I knew how to get things done. I knew how to make things happen. Um, I spent a lot of time that time in recruiting and um, there are a number, quite a number of very senior officers who have my signature on their recruiting form <laughs> over the years. So, you know, I, I was doing some good stuff. If I'd stayed, there was an opportunity, a likelihood that I would have got a ground job and it could have been recruiting. And I just, I did six years of recruiting. Uh, so there, there was... Um, so there's a silver lining to what happened. Yeah. And you know, you, if I change anything, then my whole life changes, and I never get to be where I am now. And I'm really happy where I am now. So I, I tend not to try not to worry too much. You know.